Hey guys, new filament. Check it out. It's multicolor. Isn't that cool? Let's print something. So my idea is to 3D print a big giant diamond for my wife uh, for Valentine's Day. So I don't know anything about diamond. I googled diamond cuts and I really like this one here. It looked like something that I could actually manage to build in Fusion 360. So this is final model. It looks like a diamond. And there is a history of how I got here. I'm sure somebody uh, more experienced with Fusion 360 could do this a lot simpler than I did. But I figured it out on my own, so I'm pretty proud of that. I think it looks pretty close. And because this is Fusion, everything is parametric, so if I want to, I could change the height and stuff. But let me uh, rewind time all the way to the beginning and show you how I got here. So the first thing I did, of course, is to create a sketch. That is just the profile of what we want to revolve. And now we have something kind of look like that, but it has no facets yet. The next thing we do is to create some lines for us to follow when we start to make the facets. So the first one I did was an octagon on that surface. And then I created some other surface to create more sketches. This one is also an octagon. And then using the lines we created, I created a surface. So that's a surface that follows those two lines. And once we get that surface, I draw more things that is on that surface. And basically I just continue on that process, creating surfaces, creating more lines until we finally get to actually doing the slicing. By having those surfaces, I now have a plane where I could actually start slicing and cutting the facets. And once we've done that, it looks pretty cool. So let me show you. So now we have a diamond with one facet. And basically just keep on doing that until you get more and more facets. Until you have a little corner here. I think it's an eighth of it that is basically ready to go. And now all I have to do is just cut it into a little pie like that. So now we have a small slice that we could actually mirror all around into the whole circle. And that's all there is to it. And uh, you put this on the slicer and slice it up and you have this. <laughs> How cool is that? I think it's pretty cool. A lot of fun to do. And printing it using a uh, spiral mode. It looks, I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's just too bad that the color doesn't change as fast as I thought. So instead of getting a multicolor diamond, my wife gets three pink diamonds. And she's pretty happy with that. So until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mm-hmm.